Hey, in this video, I wanted to share the best Christmas gift I got in 2021. And if you're somebody with shoulder pain or you got some hip stuff going on, I think it'll just provide a little bit of inspiration to help kick you in the butt and make your 2022 start really, really well. So best Christmas gift I got was not a surfboard, surprisingly. It was not a pair of barefoot minimalist shoes, which I also enjoy those, uh, but Rather words, they're words. They're words that were sent to me digitally. They only exist on this piece of paper because I forced them into being using my printer. But otherwise, these are actually amorphous and exist only in the internet ether. So here are the words from a guy named Tony, whom I've never met. And Tony said, I probably get thousands of emails like this, so apologies for the repetition. I'll try to be brief. I'm a 58 year old ex firefighter in London, England. Thanks to you, and one exercise, I have avoided shoulder surgery on a torn bursa a couple of years ago. The crucifix with turns forward and back. Simple, but hugely effective. I can play golf again. The guy who sells me golf balls also thanks you. Little do you know, Tony, that he and I have an agreement. Now, uh, what exercise is he talking about? Very simple. Uh, he's calling it a crucifix. I just called it standing arm circles, but standing up, you can do it sitting down too. It's just doing this, very simple. Just literally building muscles very basic, just a little bit of stability from those muscles in your shoulders and then turning palms up and then going backwards. Very, very simple. I'm actually blown away that just doing this is what saved Tony's shoulder from shoulder surgery on a torn bursa. I think it's hilarious actually that just doing this one exercise was enough stimulus to strengthen the shoulder muscles again so that he's able to play golf again. Uh, well, it's funny that exercise is not part of the normal intervention, that the normal intervention involves crappy exercises that don't generally work. And then he says, I recently injured my back, or so I thought, during a house renovation causing chronic pain, and I believe I have a high pain threshold. It almost brought me to tears on occasion during the last month. Nothing would touch it. I had a couple of physio sessions with a guy I trust, but without success. Little do you know, Tony, that guy and I also have an agreement. So I turn to you and lo and behold, the hip symptoms you described fit my symptoms almost exactly. I followed two simple exercises that you did in your garden in one of the videos, right? And I'm gonna link to that video so you can watch those exercises. I stretch my leg outwards and then bring it back behind you was one of them. Sweet. And as usual, you turn up Trump's. I think that's a card game and he's not actually referring to Former President Trump. Uh, I've had almost two pain-free days. I feel like a millionaire. I just hope it continues. Thank you so much, Matt. I recommend you to as many injured friends and family as I can. I can't even begin to explain how this has changed my daily life for the better. I know you have overcome injuries, so you know how I feel. Thank you again, Matt. I hope you and your family have a brilliant Christmas. If you ever come to London, please let's meet up so I can buy you a coffee or a beer or 10 and shake your hand. God bless, mate. Tony. So Tony, thank you for this note. If you were ever to buy me 10 beers and you forced me to drink them, I would probably be dead and unable to help anybody else with any future videos. I got that Asian gene where the alcohol and me, we are, uh, we don't get along. I am not drunk. Can you tell the time? Yes, I am not drunk. Takeaway from all this is it is really possible for you to get better regardless of your age. He's 58, which some people, not me, consider over the hill, consider beyond help, consider the period of life where everything just goes to crap and there's just no way to pull your nose up and get out of that descent. Tony is an ex-firefighter and can tell you that even though I'm sure his body got beat up throughout his career, he's still able to fix his own body by paying attention to the muscles. So I just wanna encourage you and remind you to ATM, always think muscles. I don't care how old you are. Stop talking about how old you are. Don't even drop me a comment about how old you are. I don't wanna hear about like, oh, I'm 47, is it too late for me? Or I'm 60, whatever, eight, and I think it's, 
I think, you know, I'm just too old for anything to get, like, none of that. Don't, don't give me any of that. Think about your muscles. ATM, always think muscles, and think about ways to train your muscles to do more, to do better, so that you can live more, and do more, and enjoy more. That's it. So this, Tony, huge thank you. This was a great Christmas present. Really appreciate it. If you like this channel and want to support it, I also appreciate you hitting that thanks button, leaving me a tip, or using the PayPal uh, link that I've got down below. Share this video, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell icon so you don't miss out on other future inspiring stories and testimonials. And as always, I hope you remember that pain sucks, life shouldn't.